in this covenant day of settlement and prophetic entrance service. It is testimony time. Can the following testifiers come out quickly to share their testimonies with brethren as you hear your name? Adebanke Olatuji. Can you clap unto the Lord as they make their way to the altar? In the charity. Eagles. Peter. Can you make that clap louder unto the Lord? Hallelujah. Your own testimony shall be the next as you keep on clapping unto the Lord. Fumi Bilewu. And Eiglu. Eigli. Ajaya, Ajaya, Eigli. If that sounds like your name, please make your way quickly to the altar. Fumi Bilewu. Peter Eiguz. Inze Charity. And Adebanke Olatuji. Your name and what the Lord has done for you in one minute, please. Good morning, church. Last year, my name is Ade Banke Olatunji. Last year, January, I made a booking. We were going to my dad's, for my dad's 80th birthday, and um, the whole family was going. So instead of booking from Ethro to Lagos, I booked Lagos to Ethro. So I called them. I didn't book it directly with the hairline. So I called the agency, and they said it's not refundable. So I told them they should correct it for me. They said they can't correct it. So I was wondering what I needed to do. I still need to make the booking. Then they said they can, they can change it, like I should book another leg. So when they were going to book it, they also said it's not possible. OK, give me my money. And it's four of us, so it's a lot of money. I said, give me my money. Let me make another one. But no, it wasn't happening. So every time I come to service, it's like the pastor always knows something was going on. He will always say something in regards to that. And I held on to God's word. It took so many phone calls, so many petitions, but after three months, I got my money back. Hallelujah. Every good thing that you have lost shall be refunded to you after this service in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Total restoration shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your name and what the Lord has done for you in one moment, please. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Brother Peter and Sister Grace. I want to testify for what God has done in our life. I've come to return the glory to God. The word of Exodus 23, 26 has been fulfilled in our life, but I will give the privilege to my princess to say the testimony. Praise the Lord, church. We are here this morning to testify about the goodness of the Lord upon our life. I, four years ago, when we moved down to this country, we were just living in one room, you know, from room to toilet and toilet to the to kitchen, just a circle there. Then before you know it, God helped us, we rented a place. So, for today, like last week, the pastor Timmy was prophesying and he said, there's going to be a shifting, there's going to be a lifting. And today, as God may have it, we have our own key to our own house today in the name of Jesus. And I want to appreciate Pastor Pius. He was there with us through all the process. He never leave us alone. He was just there, you know, telling us this is what you are to do. And today, by God's grace, we are no more a tenant. We are now a landlord and a landlady. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are next in line for settlement in properties in Jesus' mighty name. Your name and what the Lord has done for you in one moment, please. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Aigi Ajayi. I just want to give God for thanks for grace upon my life and favor. Since last year I moved to UK, it's been tough. But we just give God glory because when I got to UK last year, I didn't even have a place to stay. But God gave me a place, surprisingly, at the airport, a family and a place to stay for the past six months. I've been with them and they've been keeping me without any payment. I just want to give God the glory for that. And when I got a job in November, in less than a month, I became a supervisor. I want to thank God for that. In January, while I was here, my daughter over there in Nigeria, she fell sick and she was so ill. I woke up that morning on the 16th of January and I was like, call them back home. Bring anointing on. Let me pray for my daughter. They said, no anointing. I said, what? I said, okay, no problem. God will take control about that. I went to work. In the evening, I got a message that she's almost, she almost passed out. I was like, it's a lie. I remember the word from the NSPD I do every morning. We will never bury, I will never be buried. I repeated that word repeatedly. And the next point, they called me that she's better and alive. I just want to give God glory. 
I've been helping people since I came to this UK, giving them apartment, giving them links to job and everything. But my situation refused to change. But as of three days ago, I just spoke to God that I told you before the end of March, I don't want you to keep me in one position. I want no shift. And to God be the glory, by yesterday, I made a payment for a house. And I'm going to be moving this week. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you. Hallelujah. Your own catalog of testimony shall be the next in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your name and what the Lord has done for you in one minute, please. Good morning, church. I'm Charity Inzie. I'm here to return all the glory to God, to the God of this commission. I came into this country December. I started church here February. And immediately, I, I started hearing uh, covenant, kingdom advancement prayer. The God of showed me I, I said, ah, this thing. I don't know how it's working. But that same day, I gave my life to Christ here. I attended the foundation class. I just key in into everything. I said, I want to see the, this prayer that they are doing, kingdom advancement. I started praying and all that. And on Sunday when I came, I was supposed to go for my professional exam on Friday. And I said, God, I want to see this kingdom advancement prayer, the results. I want to see it. And when pastor came, he talked about favor. And I said, I'm going to get the favor. And immediately when people were giving thanksgiving, I said, I'm coming out for my thanksgiving for my result. So I came out. I said, I'm going to get favor. Behold, when I got to my exam, my examiner, something just came up. I said, this thing you said I should do, tell me how to do it. And she just said, this is how you are going to do it. You put this here, this is the barcode, you do this, you do this. Are you ready for the exam? I said, yes. So she just showed me everything. I did the exam. After the exam, she said, do you want to drink what I said? I said, sit down. And she brought water for me. I was looking at her. And I said, God, this Matthew 6, 33, they are really saying, is really working in this church. This is favor from above. Praise the Lord. The secondly, I started following people for outreach. I followed the WSF in um, Gillingham. I was going on outreaches with them. And to God be the glory, I keyed into the operation, hit your target. To God be the glory today, I'm able to bring four persons to church and they are established. And give God all the glory for what he has done. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. She passed a professional exam. And she was a great soul winner. Hallelujah. Your own testimony shall be the next in Jesus' name. Amen. Your name and what the Lord has done for you in one minute, please. Good morning, church. Um, my name is Fumi Glew. Um, I just want to thank God because um, sometimes it was in January, um, during the 21 days prayer and fasting, I got like a, dist not a distress call at work. Uh, my manager called me and was saying some things. I was like, okay, I see if you're going to lose your job. I was like, okay, I'm going to talk to the director. I spoke to the director, the director said the same thing. I was like, God, not 21 days of fast, everything. This is just a very, very wrong impression about what I was doing. Well, I came to this altar during 21 days of fasting. I was praying here, praying here, praying here. I was doing kingdom advancement prayers. The month of favor, I was like, God, you have to do it. And then the last week of favor, when Pastor Timmy was like, no, God will make them do it. And then they will shift you, knowledge shift you, they will lift you. And I said, God, that week, this must happen. All of a sudden, on that Friday, my, my director, my director, not even my manager, called and they're like, Fumi, we had the wrong impression about you. Everything we said about you is wrong. And they were going to give you a better job. We're going to give you even more responsibilities to do. So I just want to really, really thank God because he did it. And I was actually very, very shocked. I was like, what? But he just said this about me. What happened? So I just want to thank God. And I told him I'll come and give him praise on this same altar. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your own showers of blessing is the next in the mighty name of Jesus. Who has done these great testimonies? In your sister position, lift up your hands and appreciate the Lord. Father, we thank you for this awesome avalanche of testimonies. We give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we give the Lord a big hand of praise for those mighty testimonies? Hallelujah. 